Yesu e ye gombe wa mawanga gona yeke nyini yalibu julizi. Fukomu kiseri ya balala. Omunabi wa Fumuru nji mkwaniliza kuprogram Julida Mukama. Na te tuliba mkisa okubanga tugenda maso no kuchaza. Aba genji bafe ni batu mulida obujulizi ebintu mukama katonda biaba kolede. Buaba saside. Engeli Yesu Kristu jebamu labi yeko, nebamu anili zambulamu wawe, era nebamu labi kantino baganyu dua. Echawa ndiki wachitu gami entino, mulege, mulave, dalanga mukama wafe, katonda wafe mwesigwa. Kale norwe nsonge wovelanga kwe olezeko, oja kusobola okuvelanga otegera ovulunji wa katonda. Tuliba mkisana tela, okuvelanga tuchari no muami, opoloti Joseph. Thank you. Atuwado vujuli zimbutufu wa mani nyo, Ni wangu badenga, tumale tumule tamulimi oru ngeleza. Na hila still tulo ozanti omoyo wakatonda. Haba sobo ze so kubela ngo vaka puno mubu kwa asaganya. Banji, haba inzo kubela mbela yemu, jai semu. Chino chivele cha kuiga, ila chivele cha kula vila koje muli. Musobole na mwe, okwe tuwalila yesu, okwe rekeleza ABNC. Thank you very much for joining us. Ena fero. This time still we shall be talking in English because of our brother Opolot yeah. who may not be able to express himself yeah. freely in the yeah. vernacular language of Luganda. Oh, yes. So Mr. Opolot, yes. you're welcome once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much once Please, more. Please you can greet the, our, oh, our viewer. Good evening once more our beloved viewers. Mm. Thank you for being part of the three ABN and uh, we thank God for the much and the greater things that he's doing in our lives. And I'm sure there are so many wonderful things he's doing in your life as a person Amen. and in your life as a family. Amen. God bless you as we continue to be together. Amen. Yeah. And a program, Julida Mukama, Gadembe Haba Sekanyumiza Nzemu Anjuzi Wo, Katugule Wo Nesara. Please offer for us a prayer oh, as we open. Fine. Mm. Let's pray. Loving Father in heaven, you are our God and mm. our creator. The yes, father of all this universe and everything that is seen and unseen. Mm. We come to you this evening again with thanks and thanksgiving and praises of our hearts. Yes, thank Lord. you for your great love and thank you for protection. Thank you for the providence. Thank you for bringing us together again to this studio. Mm. We ask for your blessing and the guidance of your Holy Spirit in everything that we shall be sharing here. May it give glory to you in Jesus' mighty name we believe and pray. Amen. 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 Kari, we shall return after... Why? Kama, <laughs> Sana wenye nyumbu mm. tumago, usubiro kufunua bula mawujio. Nda wanga mukama yogera nafsi. Mm. Juli la mukama, ofuko mukiseri abalala. Yesu, e ye gombe wa mawanga gona, yeke nyini yalibu julizi. Jolila Mukama, ofuko mkiseri ya balala.
Welcome back from that break. You are tuned to 3ABN. This is Julina Mukama program, and here we are with our brother, Joseph Opolot, giving us his testimony as Jesus has worked in his life. He has indeed blessed him that we are so intrigued by the testimony he has shared with us so far. May the Lord bless you as you continue to share with us. Amen, and bless you too. Yes, the yes. last time that we were here, mm. you told us how you encountered the word and you were, you were completely determined mm. to live, to detach and attach. Yeah. In order for you to attach, sometimes it is important that you detach. And where we left, you've submitted your resignation, they can't believe it. They don't even want to let go. Mm -hmm. But you are so determined and dedicated to live. Yeah. Let's start from there. Yeah. Tell us about your wife. You told us she was also living. Yeah. Um, Tell us all those challenges, that mayhem that happened when you decided to live. Indeed, when Christ says that, uh, he who loves me mm. and loves the world is not for me. Mm. We need to make a choice mm. whether we belong to Christ or, or belong, we belong to the to world. The world. Mm. And the world can mean so many things mm. around you. Mm. In my particular occasion, when I had an issue with letting go of my job, mm. because remember, I had no any other extra qualification other mm. than the one I had. Mm. My church responsibility. Yes. Number two, I have all my friends and everything I have made, all connections are within the circles of the church. Mm. And I have been elevated to higher levels in the ranking of the church. Mm. I mean, I am a figure that is known mm. across the diocese. Mm. Number three, I have my wife. I love my wife. And you have a family. I have a family. I love my family. Mm. But here is a crisis now. Mm -hmm. I have to make a decision to carry my own personal cross. Mm. I have seen all everyone around me is not willing to carry the cross with me. My wife is not willing. Mm. My in-laws are not willing. My brothers are not willing. My friends are not willing. I have to decide whether to carry the cross or not. So the day my wife was leaving to go to her place, they deceived me. They said she was going for a meeting. Only to call to say, no, if you want her back, you come for her. I said, In other but, words... She left you because yes, of your exactly. religion, now, when because you had changed your religion. The religion. I have gone to a cult religion. And she cannot. I have left the church, the mm. true church, the, uh, the, the true uh, Anglican church. I have now gone to, to religion. I mean, to other denominations that are not even known, people who are not even seen anywhere. My brother is telling me I've gone to look for position. I mean, everything is just scattered. She has forgotten about those vows until death Not do us do part. Do us a part. So it was now until religion, religion you break and I leave you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. They call me and tell me like, they said, okay, if I haven't quarreled with my wife, mm -hmm. I haven't uh, sent my wife out of home, mm -hmm. there's no problem between me and my wife. Mm -hmm. If she left and she told you there is any problem, because then I will come and solve the problem. But if there's no problem, I'm not willing to if come. If she's leaving because of my belief, I'm not coming. And indeed, that's what I did. I told, her, I, I told her, I am not coming for you because I want, I want to force you to come to, my, to where I have gone. Mm. But I want to come for you when you're willing to go with me for, with inside your heart. If you think I am going astray, I am giving you time. To think about to it. Think about or it. To, to investigate. Areas. And see if truly I am the one who is going astray. Exactly. Let me read from scripture, Matthew chapter number 10. From verse number 32, it says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, mm. him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. Mm. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him mm. will I also deny before my Father which my is father. in heaven. Yes. And he said, Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. Uh -huh. For I am come to set a man at valiance against his father. And the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And the man's foes shall be they of his own household. Mm. He that loves the father or mother more than me mm. is not worthy of me. of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Mm. 
and he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Yeah. That is exactly what happened. I said, let us find out who is wrong. Whether break up family, whether leave my, fam my fine, brother. Fine. I, I would rather leave, but I stay attached to Jesus. Hold on. And that time, I started seeing myself in a position of only Jesus bailing me out. Amen. At home, there was a, there's already a crisis. I don't have a home to go to. Mm. My home has been the church. Because when I'm posted to a new church, I go, I find a home. Or even if I'm, I get land, I get everything. I don't have land. I don't have a home. I don't have where to go. I am now alone by myself. Minus everything. Nothing. I told my wife, that's fine. We shall see. That was December. The whole of December is gone. My wife has not come back. January came. My wife has not come back. February came. My wife has not come and back. And you don't even think of going back for her. I, I've told her I am not coming to pick you because one about issues of faith. Mm. Because one, I didn't send you home. I didn't send you out of home. You left by yourself. And it is a custom in your culture yes. that when a woman goes, the man has to go back yes, and pick her. Yes, you have to go and pick her and solve the issues from there. <laughs> but I saw the controversy of the matter. I need to bring so many things. I said, if God If she has to come back, marriage, it must be that she has she agreed has to stay with to me no matter what my belief exactly. is. You've given her all the time to think through herself and see if she can return and be with you. One thing I appealed to my wife. Mm. I told my wife, I want you to think and prayerfully allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you and consider. Let us not judge this thing by the basis of what we are told, mm. but let us judge it by what the Bible says. Amen. So if you can reach that extent where you can let the Bible speak to you also, mm. Mm. we have no problem. But I am not ready to slide back. Amen. See, the information went to home. My brother scattered the things. My very brother who brought, who led me to salvation, mm. who brought, made me come to Kampala, mm. is my greatest, uh, doesn't want to associate with me. I mean, everything is just scattered. I said no. So when I, that was December, uh, uh, the wife has left. Mm. I called the, uh, I, I shared with Edgar and I shared with the team in Kampala. Lois uh, formed a team, a prayer team for me. Thank Amen. God for that Kampala team. Amen. Thank you so much. They did a great job in my spiritual growth. Amen. So you formed a prayer team in Kampala mm. that was able to support me prayerfully and even financially. Mm. And then the church in, in Kumi Soroti also mm. decided that because when I had to leave, I had to leave the, the station. Mm. It was the time that I was not supposed to do a handover. I was supposed to do a handover in January. That's when we do transfers. Mm. Actually, in February. Mm. But now it is December. I can't do a, a, a They yeah. can't bring anybody yes. there. Yes. But I had to leave. Mm. I told them I'm leaving. Mm. So I left. Now, I had to come to begin life. I didn't. I had no savings. Mm. I had not saved any money. Mm. I didn't have anything that I could use. True. All the things I had, including even a loan on top of it, I used for buying a motorcycle because I needed a motorcycle. Mm. So in that course, my motorcycle was brand new. Mm. UFA, when FA was just coming, mm. just still brand and new. you sold it off I sold just it. like I, that? I used it for only three months. To work. Yes, mm. three months. Mm. Now, I've remained, there is a loan and everything. My wife is... <sighs> so I moved it to Soroti. Those people made for, prepared for me a place in Soroti. I moved in Soroti. Amen. Luckily enough, there was a, a training, a Bible workers training that mm. was conducted by Amazing Facts mm. through Brother, uh, 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 Brother Victor, B Victor Biarohanga. Mm. He's also an um, Amazing Facts evangelist. Mm. So they, con they had a training. They asked if I could be part of that training. I said, yes. Mm. I had no problem with the engaging in the training. We straight away went for the training. Now, imagine I'm in that transition period. Mm. I have to begin studying afresh the Bible. Mm. The truth of the matter is, I finished the time I spent in a class, nearly three months, two, one full month, when I could not even raise a hand to ask a question in class. Because during that, during that time training, of amazing training, facts, amazing fact training, training yes. I couldn't ask any question. Because by the time every presentation is finished, I just get humbled and say, Thank you, God, for Ooh, saving my soul. For bringing me in a place like this. I looked any ordinary person, mm. 
any, who didn't know anything about the Bible. Mm. I didn't even want to put myself in a position of knowing anything about the Bible. Mm. I said, I want to start studying the Bible afresh. afresh. Why? Mm. I was now getting an opportunity of real studying Bible doctrine. Amen. Amen. This is the chance when I got now an opportunity to study all the 35 Bible doctrines. Amen. Study them, understand them, break them one at a time. That is it. So I said, I want to give my time. I want to study. Amen. We ran the training. The training was tough. Yes. Very, very I tough. I understand. And now that mind where you're someone big, you know, you want some uh, special treatment and, you know, mm -hmm. we could go to class, no food, no lunch, no breakfast, no anything, but you are running a class from morning to, to evening. evening. Amen. Said, will I make it? Mm. But I had these issues running my family ministry, mm. my family salvation, my family salvation. When will my wife know the truth? When I call, I ask her what is happening. She wouldn't give a positive response. I tell mm. her, no, take your time mm. study, to study it. Mm. We moved on like that until I finished the class. Mm. Now time came for, for practicals. We mm. had to move out. Mm. Now that time now is when my wife made a decision. To, to follow me back now. Amen. Amen. But did she receive any dozier of what you had received? Not yet. Or it was the, a conviction? In her now. And she thought she I think to uh, people kept telling her, you know, the Bible says those that have been put together, no one should put her hand mm. or something like mm. that. And now she started also reading the Bible and all that. Mm. So she towards the to accomplishment of her training, mm. she now returned. Amen. Amen. Now we started staying together. There is that was a in... battle. Yeah. First of all, to unlearn the, 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 all that material yes. that you had been trained yes. through years yes. and practicing, doing it hands on. It is something that had sunk inside in... you. And, and now that... you needed to wipe it, wipe out, it out and then begin afresh. afresh. Actually, the three months I spent in that program, I, I, I would consider a beginning of all my lifetime journey Amen. in the ministry. Amen. Little time, but what I got, mm. I just thank God for, 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 for that program. Amen. Because it real opened me mm. and gave me a real challenge for ministry. Amen. It was the first time for me to begin to understand the value of a soul. Mm. Because we're given a task, you have to produce seven souls to qualify for graduation. Mm. Now we don't... We, I had never had, I have preached before. Mm. I have led people to salvation before. Mm. This situation Actually, where you're going to preach on thousands, people, people, hundreds call and them and come, 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 come. Mm. Jesus is calling you and they are coming. You're praying for them. Live, and then you but now you're given just three, only seven. Seven. And it's a battle. And it's a battle. <laughs> Actually, we failed to raise the real seven. Mm. The, the seven, all of them. Mm. But I really understood the value, what it means mm. to win a soul. Amen. And the value of a soul. Amen. The cost of bringing a soul into salvation. Amen. And the pain that you look at when someone is backsliding. The sacrifice that you make. I looked at it at that point. You go from step one all the way, follow up, and you I see said, how they behave. Yes. And said, you were Fine. just wondering how Jesus has given you a privilege. Then I would imagine when Jesus says, that, that deny yourself and carry your own cross, I could imagine that. <laughs> what does it mean? Amen. Now, here I can now understand what Jesus says. Amen. Carry your own what? Carry your own cross and I follow I go me. out, do work in the morning up to evening. Mm. You go to class from one, you're going to do work. I mean, time was really tough. Let's just, just hold there a little. Our dear listener, our dear viewer, this is what it takes for someone to be fully grounded in Jesus Christ. It takes sacrifice. It takes dedication. It takes determination. And it takes devotion. If you are contemplating of being committed or committing your life to Jesus, are you ready? Are you, like our brother, has decided to give up everything, including his family? What a blessing that we hear this testimony from you. Indeed. We shall be breaking a little while, and when we return, we shall be right there, now seeing how God has worked in this life, what God is doing in this, our brother's life.
Kika jolo woza kumbera joitamu. Koli wakati mulunako. Chisena chicho wayo okufumi tiriza kuyo akuwa amanyi goko zesa. Mirundi minji ebizi mbe tusisinkana okusoberwa biva kuungirije tutandi semu olunako. Wokuba tochi mbulamu huo. Olunako huo olutandi kanani. Ero lutandi kotia. 3ABN ekulete de program ensuro ehencha. Buli kumacha kusawa kuminabili. Funo umkiso kutandi kolu na kumekatonda. Nguo higa okuwa mnusuro eyo ulamu. Ngachechigambo cha katonda. Luge wa yesu luguli tuwa wanda. Yesu e ye gombe wa mawanga gona yeke njini ya libu julizi. Tebe tuwa mbu. Fukomu kiseri ya balala. Welcome back from that moment of break. And here we are once again with our brother Joseph Opolot. Yeah. You didn't tell me what Opolot means. Opolot means uh, an, uh, an elder. An elder. Ah, maybe God was preparing an elder Apollo. before you even knew through your parents yes. who yeah. named you that name. Sure. And here is Brother Opolot. This is Julida Mukama program, a program that is set for you to testify the doing of God in your life. We learn quite a lot, and indeed, I'm intrigued to hear your testimony. Sure. Here we are. Did your wife come back? Yeah, so when we finished the training, we've now started Bible work. The work is real starting to, to enter, mm. I'm beginning to really see the value of a soul, mm. I get a surprising call from my wife. Mm -hmm. I told even my, t my teacher, Brother uh, Victor, I told mm. him my wife has called, she's coming back. Amen. And then the Toroti team made an arrangement, mm. picked her, and then we came together, we had a, a, a party together, we had a sharing together, welcoming her home. Mm. Yeah, but she hadn't made a decision for mm. salvation, mm. but she had accepted to come home. I said, fine. This is home. God has provided for us. I told her, we've been sleeping in grass-searched houses in parishes where we go. Mm. Even if we are sleeping in an iron-sheeted house, not as good as this. Mm. The team prepared for us a nice house. Amen. They, uh, uh, it's a, a one-bedroom a one bedroom house, but yes. so nice. Amen. We don't pay for it. Amen. And then uh, the, the God had set a team yes. to fight for us. Wow. So I told her, if there is anything we are saying that God is working, I think you can begin to see how God is elevating Amen. us from the level we have been in. Mm. See where we, are. where we are. We now. don't have what we are doing, but mm. we don't sleep hungry. Amen. We, I am doing Bible work. We go from morning to evening, but we don't sleep hungry. Mm. There is nothing, no garden, no everything. The season has not been good. Everything has been tough, mm. but God sustained us. Amen. So... We started work. Now, a small bit of a challenge came when I was given a program to run a public meeting. Mm. For the first time, time. to run an Amazing Facts public meeting. Okay. When I received the invitation by brother, brother Edgar and Victor, mm. you know, Victor was supposed to run another Bible program, I mean, public program, mm. and this one was also there. So they asked if I would be able to step in and help. Mm. I said, yes, I can. Mm. So I had to go for Bible work and mm -hmm. prepare for that until actually I was given a day before uh, and the next day was supposed to begin the program. Amen. Amen. I had to plan myself, prepare for the first time. Mm. Something I used to do for years mm. was becoming a challenge. Mm. I thank God we ran the program for one month. Mm. I went through challenges. There, was, uh, there are so many challenges that mm. were surrounding it. First mm. of all, myself, I was in that condition where the, the, the family has to come together. Mm. Uh, I am alone. I have to go for Bible work. I have to prepare for, you know, preparing myself for that hectic work. Yes. Because what I'm used to is I just prepare my sermon on Saturday. Mm. On Sunday, I'm presenting it. Monday to Friday, I'm in my own things. Amen. I have a lot of people to surround to help me do so many other things. How do you... 
How does it feel? Because before you told me you were just reading. Yes. You're reading a routine. Yes. Something that is already written down. Yes. And yes. now this is some this is a, a, a scenario where you even given time to think mm. and read mm. and study and mm. prepare your own sermon mm. and by the leading of the Holy Spirit mm. you come and present and it to present the people. It. Mm. Yeah, in the beginning it was really like uh, spiritual is easy because mm. Christ the Holy Spirit guides. Yes. But carnal is really very tough mm. time that you can mm. go through. I understand. And you realize you you know a situation where first of all you yourself you're frustrated because mm. of so many events surrounding you. Mm. Sometimes when you're planning this this comes in and mm. jumbles the whole program and all that. You have to go for Bible work, you're facing challenges in Bible work, you're coming home, you this and then little time you have Actually, before that, I had a translation program mm. with Brother Victor Steele. Yes. First time on radio, we had a radio program. Yes. I am his translator on radio, in very early in the morning in Ateso. Yes. Again, we have another translation on another public meeting. Amen. From that, we, see, we switch now on to my, my program when I'm also running a public meeting. Amen. It's, that is the time when I understood the treasure of of a soul. Amen. And Amen. honestly, by now, when I'm speaking about winning a soul, mm. I really see the value, well, takes. The, the value of a true soul Amen. that has been converted to Amen. Christ. Amen. So we had that time. We ran a meeting. Mm. In the course of the meeting, when you are called for baptism, somehow something that uh, 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 depressed me somehow mm. was the, the people who were giving in for baptism, coming mm. for baptism. Mm. I remember we had, I think, about three souls for baptism. Okay. No, there were seven. Mm. Out of seven, only three turned up and for that baptism. that is for the entire team. For the, the, for the entire one man that we're running that you here. have been doing the Bible work. The, yeah, the, have public meeting to get now. get three of them that three. say we are ready for baptism. Yes, okay. three. Okay. Th that's not part of the other program that we had for the yes, training. Yes, I understand. The other one was finished. We got, I think, also we got five. Amen. Of the whole team because Amen. the package doesn't team. Amen. Now, this one was now the one I was running a public meeting. We have three souls. And I'm like, oh, out of all these people. Only and we three. only have three. And then there, there are even instances where you will have only one like this. And so that one I got is those, causing heavens to celebrate. Sure. <laughs> I got that encouragement from my yes. tutors, my Vic, brother Victor, from Eddie and everyone around. Hmm. Oh. So time came now we had to, to finish up every training and then we had to be commissioned. Hmm. Now during your commissioning, hmm. Brother Victor now told us now, now for you, you have to really go and face, go, this is the same thing now, now we are commissioning you, go now mm. and, and do the work. Amen. We are not going to work under the amazing facts, mm. you're going to work under the church now. Mm. The church is fully responsible of your life, Amen. I mean everything that you're going to do, but the fire has to move on. Amen. Now, we are moving in, starting now new life, mm. in a new journey. Mm. In, now, information is running home mm, and everywhere. This, this man now is, is, is on fire. He's, on a, he's recruiting he's many to the he, kingdom. He, he, he's, he's messed up. <laughs> the, the, the issue was messed up. <laughs> he's, he's, he, he has wasted our resources. The church has invested in him, training him. and So somehow, at some point, even the bishop had to send some people to come, and to, come to me. To and talk to you me. back. Yeah, to speak to me and find out what exactly was there. Was the, the, problem, problem. the cause. So we ran that program for one month. We finished it. Mm. I got now a conviction to run a public, another public Amen. meeting. Amen. So after that baptism, we, by the grace of God, those souls are, are, are still moving on. We, we they are nurtured, Amen. and I understand now what it means to nurture a soul, Amen. bring up a soul, care for a soul. Yes. I mean that pain that you'd really feel when someone is backsliding, Amen. and you're like, yes. This True. person is getting out of hand. Amen. How does this person get back? You have that commitment to pray for a soul. Mm. I had never had that in life. Amen. My prayer life grew. I would understand what it means to pray. Mm. So when I wanted to run a meeting, I don't have resources. Mm. I mean, my life was just me, my wife, and my children. That's mm. all. Mm. Nothing else our house but is as now simple as that. You begin that. now to take care of I others. I have to begin taking care of people. Looking at others people are more bringing than problems. Even yes, they mm. have problems. This is that. And I remember one time when we had a lady, uh, uh, some, one of the students, mm. who, Candace, who was almost backsliding because of life. Yes. So we had to agree. We solicited some 50,000 with my wife. He said, can, if she can start from that, 
and yeah, it's giving her more hope in life. Yeah. We finished. So, now, in July, mm. actually in June, I told you Sister Lois mm. uh, formed for me a team in a Kampala. A team that was praying for you. This team and... did not only end in prayer. Mm. They went ahead to facilitate me. Oh, my God. So many things that I can't count. Amen. I would see them care for me, send me money mm. for upkeep. Mm. I would see them buy for me even clothes. Wow. I would see them buy for me. The first gift they bought for me is a wonderful shoe. Amen. Even this is, I'm even putting on it. Say that nice you go shoe. and preach the gospel. Shoe. How you, beautiful. They told me, we want you to go and <laughs> preach the gospel as a representative of God. Amen. We don't want that. I mean, I started changing. I'm putting on suits. Amen. I'm putting on, I mean, life became life. Mm. Yeah, really interesting. True. So that team has really been a family to me. Amen. I Let know God has... Just pause a little. Our brothers, our viewers, are you in the church? Have you found someone who has just been converted and brought into the church? How do you relate with them? How do you help them? Many of them are going through all manner of turmoil. Remember, the devil does not want them to make a step and enter into this church. Mm -hmm. Because the devil is fighting this church with all with all strength, we as the brethren need to invite these our brothers. We need to comfort them. We need to take care of their needs. Oh, thank God for Sister Lois, for what the kind of work that she has done. What a blessing to have such kind mm. of people doing the work of winning souls. May the Lord bless them. And Amen. may it be a lesson to us also to be you know, in, inviting sure. and embracing these people sure. that are coming into the mm. church. They stood, they have, I, don't under, I don't know how big the team is. Mm. I would only hear one word from her. This is from the Kampala team. This is from the Kampala team. So in June, I sent a proposal to them mm. that can we start a radio program? I want to go back to my former place where I was working and in now, Amuria now where I was stationed. Yes. I want to have a radio program. Yeah. And begin opening people's people's eyes to know the truth. To know the truth, I had an, a handover program that I was supposed to do around that place. Mm. I asked for some support from them. They gave me steps to Christ. They gave me study guides, and some they gave me also some uh, 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 great controversies mm. and deserve ages. Mm. So I would give those th that team those people who were in the meeting. Amen. That was my first preaching to my former because. The, the, the devil had done something again that wanted to push me back. Mm. I, had a, I had a mission in Katakui that I finished successfully. Mm. But after my conversion, something again was coming out from that very place, like there's something that was, there was a problem that was there. Mm. So when we went for that, uh, that program to, to solve that issue, I went with those books and mm. gave them out. Mm. So I told them, it's the time I get back to Amuria. Mm. I want to go and preach in Amuria. Amen. Can you support me? Mm. She said, the Kampala team, we He's shall pray dedicated. together. Mm. God Amen. will make a way. Amen. Only to get surprised to get a call from her, she tells me, can you go and find out how much the radio costs? Actually, that discussion started from the meeting where I was having this handover program Amen. in Katakui. Mm. Because we had a journalist. These people had intended to call a journalist mm. either to come. I don't know the mission of the journalist. Mm. But when he came, he told me what I was supposed to do here, I'm not going to do. Mm. I think there was something they had framed they that had they wanted come. to do okay. and it didn't work out. Mm. So I told them I was going to have a he program says in Amuri. In the book of uh, Job, chapter number five, and verse number 12, we can read there. The Bible speaking and says, mm. chapter five, from verse number 12, he says, He disappointed the devices of the crafty. Mm so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Mm. And he taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the fraud is carried headlong. Mm. They meet with the darkness in the daytime and grow up in the noonday as in the night. Yes. So the moment you come in the hands of Jesus Christ, mm. himself will disappoint all the concomitant plans exactly. of the devil, mm. will not have any power upon you. I saw that happen. Now... They made a program, they made a facilitation, they paid for my radio program, mm. they paid for my accommodation, mm. they take, took care of me, they were sending me support.
for, for work that I was doing in the field, mm. they said, you can go. Mm. Immediately in January, July, yeah. I moved out for my first mission. And you went on radio? I went on radio. To spread the gospel? Exa the very radio station where, you used where to I used to preach. sit and preach. The very chair <laughs> that I used to sit on. I said, I'm not going to use any other chair. I'm going to use this, this very chair, chair, chair. This very microphone. To proclaim the gospel of Jesus. The true gospel. Amen. When I entered the studio the first time, mm. things were okay. Second time, things were okay. Uh -huh. The challenge came because we, we, I entered in the um, uh, umbrella of Teso Bible. By the way, when, when Victor passed us out, uh -huh. we asked us to make ministries, that uh, options that can let us go out. Amen. And as Teso, we decided to say, we won't have Teso Bible, Bible workers. workers. That's why in this Just segment I'm putting hold this. Hold it there. Teso Bible workers, Teso Bible workers is now birthed through our brother who yeah. has lost and is now found. And is willing, dedicated, determined, and ready to serve Jesus. May that be a lesson to each one of us. Mm. We are going to take a short break. As we return, we shall go into the final moments of yeah. this testimony. Mm. And our brother is now going to tell us, give us some, some tangible testimonies. Yes. The things that God has done in his life. The things that cannot be denied. As Simon Peter say, mm. as we read from the Acts of Apostles, I think it's chapter number 16, mm. where these men who, were, who, were, who wanted to, were they the Sanhedrin, chapter 4? Let me read there from verse number 16. Yeah. He says, that saying that what shall we do to mm. these men? Mm. For that indeed a notable miracle has been done by them is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem, mm. and we cannot deny it. Amen. Those proofs that cannot be denied, denied being the works of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to return for that. Don't touch that dial. Musi yoku imba, wali yoku wanguzi. Yesu ya imba nga musozi nga gurumiza chitawe. Ida ya wangula. Nilaba <laughs> Era ochimanyi ntino, ebi muku bietu genda na biyo muguru kuyimba. Wetu litu kamukulu, yesu jafu kila. Tuliimba kukwa gala, kwa yesu jetu li. Okuyimba cheta ago, era chukutule njegere, eri abu, abasibidua. Era chiwo molo, eri abo abazito wele dua. Kulete de program himba nange, egendo kuli owo moyo. Era egendo kuweze meme, ekuzemu, esubi. Tosubabuli Saturday, program eno yimba nange, sawa satu oktu sa sawa nya, ezaka ungezi, nange omwanju zuo, Elizabeth Ndagiri. Yesu, e ye gombe wa mawanga gona, yeke njini, yalibu julizi. Julira mukama, ofukomu kiseri abalala. Welcome back. These are our final minutes in this testimony. 
this is brother of our Lord Joseph. Jesus has fished him. Has fished him. Can I say fishing? Or has hooked this fish? <laughs> <laughs> and has brought him mm. into the church of the remnant. The remnant church. This is the church that speaks the truth, nothing but the truth. Mm. The Bible and Bible alone and the, the whole Bible. Not only just a, a mm. bit of it. Mm. You're now into the Bible. Yeah. You've said you have now studying all the doctrines in the Bible. Yes. The biblical doctrines. Yes. And you're now seeing, you're juxtaposing them yes. with those doctrines that you used to teach. Yes. Seeing how the devil had deceived and you. deceived me. You're now on a radio program. Yes. When Tell us what comes of this radio program. So we went as Teso Bible workers. We started preaching. I started preaching. Mm -hmm. First day, second day, third day. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the third lesson, problems begin to come. Mm -hmm. Someone calls and told the, the, the manager of the station mm -hmm. that those people are hiding, those Adventists. And yet in this radio station, they said they don't want Adventists. Mm -hmm. They don't want Isa Messias. Mm -hmm. They don't want the Muslims. What did they want? They want the rest, whatever I've not mentioned, <laughs> free to be there. But those that I have mentioned... They don't want them so, there. And now for you, you went as Christians. I went as Bible, Bible workers. teachers, Bible yeah, workers. Yeah. And we went with everything. So when you were teaching, someone told them these ones must be Adventists. These, are, this message we've been hearing, these are, those are, these are Adventists. Yeah. Issues started. The radio station is owned by one... The, 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 the minister, one of the ministers in Uganda. Mm. And then he said, the, the, that's the instruction. They are not allowed to do that. Mm. So I was called and said, now you have changed. This is the different thing. The, pro, the, 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 the thing has reached minister, mm. that you people, you are Adventists. Mm. Then these people are not wanted here. Mm. I told the manager, I think, I, I, I don't know if you understand what you're talking about. Mm. Me, you I've mean just come to present here. What I've not I've mentioned whatever, anything about Adventists. Yes. So I've, how do you how even do come you to even say that come I'm an Adventist? About an Ad Adventist? Uh -huh. I have told you I am a Bible worker. Uh -huh. I have told the Bible. And Tell I'm me preaching the Bible. Here, which I've preached if about there is Adventists. anything out of the Bible, you can say you are Adventist. Of course, they said, okay, we're not going to do anything. <laughs> First, that, then they instituted mm. an investigation committee, people to investigate us. And see. And see if we are really not. Are you teaching the yes. Bible? Are so, you really not Adventist? Yes. <laughs> so I told my presenter the truth. I went to him. I told him, my brother, mm. I, am, I converted into Adventism. That is the truth. Mm. But I am not going to teach Adventism. I'm going to teach the Bible. Mm. The Bible if you alone think and I'm, all. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm not going to teach the Bible, then you can stop me. Mm. But if you are teaching the Bible, let people hear the, the truth of the of God. Yes. Should you become a stumbling block towards mm. this, mm. then you, you know how you and answer And you have for paid God. them. What I've is their problem? Them. Their problem is they don't want Adventists because these people teach false doctrine. <laughs> Brother, we started work. Yes. I told the presenter the truth. He said, I'm fearing I'm going to lose my job. I said, even if you don't host me here, you're still going to lose that job. So it's better you lose it because you hosted me You have me hosted here. me. Amen. Then he accepted. We moved on. Call started. Now the worst call came from my own brother. Uh oh Your the own brother old you're old born brother. with. I'm born Blood with. Blood brother. Blood brother. Oh, yes. Called in studios. He was so tough. He was throwing words. And what was he saying? He was saying, that man... He's confused. Uh -uh. He's a lay reader in the Anglican church. He's, he's, not, he's not what? He's not, a, an, a, 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 he's not going to teach it. He's not teaching the Bible. Uh. He's just there for his own things. Now, it should be switched off from, from the radio. Hey, with all that annoyance. With a lot of an anger. He's a, he's a lay reader in the Anglican, Anglican church. church but what you're reading people. in the studios is actually and the Bible. The, uh, so now... Actually, that's the question I asked. Actually, when, he, when people came on, on responses... Basically, he was speaking out of head. Out of head. Uncoordinated. Completely. Actually, he's the one who had a problem. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, people fired him back mm. because people had gotten to know the Amen. Thing. Amen. We thank God amidst all those challenges, all the calls. The house I was sleeping in was is owned by a priest. I mean, a Catholic priest. Mm. He couldn't send me out of his house. Mm. Even You're after knowing his rent. I pay rent. For them, they want money. They want money. Mm -hmm. Actually, this man confessed it to me. Mm. And this is what I know most of those people know. Mm. He told me, mm. for you who has an opportunity to teach these things, you teach them. Mm. For me, the very day I begin to teach those things, I lose my job. 
Oh my God. So what is so he keeping his worry some, is losing the job. Losing his and job. yet he knows the he truth. He knows what he's supposed to teach, that it, the truth that he's supposed to teach. But he knows the very day he begins to teach that, he's, he's going to, to lose his job. And I believe most of the people are kept in that kind of enclosement because people who are supposed to bring they them out fear to lose, to their, lose jobs. their jobs. Yeah. I said, okay. But we thank God so, so much. Mm. The program went on. Mm. First month we finished. Mm. We did our baptism. In the second month, by the grace of God, we crowned that program when we had 37 souls. Amen. Who baptized. Gave their baptized. Amen. By the grace of God, we ended that program. We, we actually, we ended it when we have uh, two Sabbath schools. Amen. We have uh, a fully uh, a running Sabbath school in a place where I was running the program from. Amen. And we have uh, a Sabbath school now, first Sabbath school in Amuria town. Amen. As the Adventist church. Amen. Although it is going through so many other struggles because yes. it is a starting, yes. but we thank God at mm. least now we have a place of worship in Amuria town, which was not there before. Mm. We've been struggling about it and people are now opening their eyes. Amen. People are getting, begin to understand more mm. about the Bible. Mm. People are picking interest of engaging themselves now to study the Bible by themselves. Amen. Because many have known that the truth that they need, they can't get from their leaders. Mm. Many confess and say, had we known this truth before, we wouldn't be taken by this. True. This guy, there's a man who called in studio mm. and was he tough. Uh -huh. A priest was asked a question on studio mm. that there are people who preach from that very studio where you're sitting. Mm. They say that Saturday is the Sabbath of the Lord. Mm. Tell us, priest, which what one is the real, what is the truth about that? He never answered. But why didn't he answer? Because even the catechism says that he, true Saturday is the Sabbath. The reason why he cannot then, answer <laughs> is because he doesn't observe it. Uh -huh. Now, even if he answers, he answers in another way, in another mm. version. That That's what know. I was coming to. Because mm. when you look at the catechism, yes. it says that the true Sabbath, Saturday. Saturday is the Sabbath of yes. the Lord. But they change the solemnity yes. of the Sabbath from what? With the, 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 their ecclesiastical powers. powers. Mm. By the ecclesiastical powers they have, now, they change the what? The, the Sabbath, Sabbath from, to, from, from, from Saturday to Sunday. To, to Sunday. So that's where the biggest problem is because many people teach and say that it was Jesus who changed that. Mm. And now many have taught in that context mm. of saying the Sabbath was changed by Jesus. Now when you trace where the, the whole story about the change of the Sabbath, mm. very many are ignorant of the real change when the Sabbath was changed. Mm. And they are just told that the Sabbath was changed by Jesus. And many teach that the Sabbath was told, uh, changed by who? By Jesus. So everyone accepts that. Mm. And say, since it is Jesus who changed it, so we, can, we have no problem with going through it. <laughs> mm. So that very day I was going to the studio in the evening mm. because it was a, a, it, it was a Saturday. Mm. Now when I went to the studio, I asked, I, uh, I began from that very point. Mm. Now people in Iteso have an open mind Amen. of learning the real word of Amen. God. Amen. One thing we thank God of is because the area of Teso for long has been called an entered area. Mm. Even with the churches that we have, there, even with everything that we have, it is still called an entered mm. area. Mm. But we, be, we thank God because Teso now is not an entered area. Mm. We have a commitment, we form the Teso Bible workers mm. with the vision of sending out the three angels message across Teso. Amen. And we are using every opportunity possible, Amen. every means Amen. possible to let the word of God go into reach Teso, to reach out corner. to Teso. Wow. Everybody in Teso must learn the truth. Amen. And that is where our commitment comes in. Amen. It's our prayer by the grace of God and by the help of God mm. that the church globally will open their eyes mm. and begin to seriously take into consideration those areas that need to be reached. Mm. Teso needs to be reached. There's a lot, like we can imagine in Teso we have one, uh, the whole Teso region has one pastor. Mm. And you can imagine how much that pastor can cover. 
Mm. There are about 10 districts and even plus mm. because it covers up to Karamoja, part of Karamoja. Mm. That is all something that requires the people to come out and uh, support. It's not only Ministers just so actually the spirit of support. prophecy says that where one person is reaching today, yes. we ought to have about 100 people True. reaching out to those so people there is that still, have not yet got the truth. There is still a lot to be mm. done. Mm. But we thank God the message is moving. Amen. And is raising up a people who are committed to take up the message. Amen. And we believe unless Jesus returns. Mm. But until the day Jesus returns, the work until will Until that day when the trumpet is blown. Amen. Until that day when everything has come to an end. Amen. We shall never stop Amen. to preach the word Amen. of God. It says, because and this gospel shall, shall reach, reach out to the, all, the the the, all the points in the world. Yes, because, because now comes. we have every confidence mm. to preach. We have every confidence Amen. to teach Amen. what is true. Amen. And we are calling upon all people who have the commit, I mean, the call to missionary work Amen. to come and support this work. Amen. Some of you may not be able to go straight to be in the field. Yes. But like the Kampala team and Lois team is doing for us in yes. Teso, yes. you can do that. Amen. You can spend that money, put it in ministry. ministry. Instead the of building a bungalow for yourself. Yes. Build a bungalow for True. the ministry. Actually, we are told in the book of uh, Matthew chapter number 6, from verse number 19, the scripture says that do lay not up for yourselves treasures mm. upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Mm. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there, there will your heart also be. be. This scripture tells us to commit our our, 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 our riches yes. to the work of God. And mm. that way, we are banking on our heavenly mm. account. Sure. May the Lord bless us all to be able to join that work. Amen. Our dear viewer, is there anyone out there who has been blessed to hear these words with this testimony? May the Lord touch you that you can be part of this work. May the Lord bless you as you become, be part of this work. Now, as we are winding up, because we are left with only about three minutes, yeah. I want you to look at that camera and give a word, a binding word to our viewer out there. Beloved viewers, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm. we are at a time when we are looking towards the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. We may be weak. We may be having our own issues everywhere. Mm. But the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, mm. that I can do all things through Lord Christ who strengthens, strengthens me. me. Mm. I know there is that particular area where God has placed you. Mm. How are you going to use that area to minister unto God. Mm. There are so many souls mm. that need to be reached out to. True. There are so many people who desire to see and receive the truth that you have received. Mm. How many of us are willing to say, by the grace of God, I can do everything, whatever it takes, whether to surrender my resources, whether to surrender my time, whether to surrender anything into the ministry of winning souls, for Christ. Mm. Time is coming when all these resources that we are investing our lives in will be nothing to us. Time is coming when our houses will be nothing to us. Mm. All our investments will be nothing to us. But still we shall remain accountable before God. Amen. My appeal to all of us is, yes, God has given us the truth and we have received the truth. You have received the truth. Mm. There are thousands of people who have not had the opportunity to receive the to truth. Hear that truth. There are thousands of people who are still struggling mm. to receive the truth. You are still in the crossroads. They are willing to receive the truth, but there are so many things surrounding mm. them. Mm. What is your participation in letting them understand the beauty 
of accepting Jesus Christ. Amen. He loves us mm. because he died on the cross for us. Amen. But not only for you, not only for me, but for the entire world. Mm. All of those people that are perishing in sin require to be removed, uh, to be bailed out of mm. sin. Would you be part of that commitment to let the word of God reach out to every soul Amen. that is living, Amen. as long as you are living? My appeal, let the Holy Spirit let the guidance of the Holy Spirit touch every Adventist Amen. in whatever you do to have a portion in the ministry Amen. so that the word of God can reach out to all the people who need to receive it. I thank God so much for 3ABN, for the ministry that they do. I thank God so much for the work so many other people are doing. I thank God so much for the Bible work, that uh, Bible workers who are committing themselves to doing a lot of Bible work in mm. reaching out to the souls. I thank God for his grace. Mm. But above all, I thank God for the gift of salvation. Mm. I love all of you, and I believe we shall all be able to share together the eternal kingdom that God has prepared for us. Mm. This is my heart to you, and I pray that God will reunite us again as we keep sharing his word. Thank you so much. God bless you. I send my regards to all the Adventist, uh, Adventist church, mm. all the leadership of the Adventist church, which, which is open to ministry. Mm. I send my greetings to all Bible workers. I send my greetings to Sister Royce and the Kampala team, and above all, my greetings to my beloved wife, Joyce Opolot, and our two little children, Jonathan and Martha. Amen. God bless you and bless you. See you again. Amen. We thank God. One thing, has your wife accepted oh, the truth? Oh, my wife has accepted the truth through yes. the radio program that I was running Amen. on the radio mm -hmm. by the grace of God. And she is part of the next, I made it a special baptism for her. Amen. And the next baptism, we will be sharing a baptism together with her. Amen. And I believe one time we shall share testimony again with my wife. Amen. By the grace of God, if the opportunity is given. Amen. Yes, but she is now back with us. Everything is okay. She's willing for baptism. She's saying, I don't want to be a stumbling block for the ministry. I said, yes, glory be to God. Amen. I shall be baptizing her very soon. Amen. Yeah. What a blessing to hear those words. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Shall we take a prayer? Sure. Our Lord, our God, our strength, our salvation, our preserver. What a blessing to hear the words that we have heard from the lips of your servant, this our brother Opolot. Thank you, Lord, for taking him through the transition from the moment that you reveal to him thy truth. And thank you, Almighty God, for upholding his life. Thank you for our dear listener, our dear uh, viewer, the words that have been shared in their ears, Almighty God. It's our prayer that these words will have an impact in their lives and bless them, Almighty God. We thank you, Father, and we pray in Jesus' precious name. Amen. amen and amen. 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 Till next time, thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.